Hi, this is Ryan Kramer, and in this screencast, I wanted to demonstrate a simple example of creating relational references between pages. In this case, it's going to be something familiar, which would be to associate categories with content. Now, ProcessWire doesn't actually have anything like categories already built into it. It intentionally avoids dictating structures like that. But let's assume that that's what we want, and so that's what we're going to build. Now, for the purposes of this example, I'm going to use my own site and add categories to the portfolio so that when we're done, each portfolio item can have one or more categories associated with it. And uh, those will appear in the lower left-hand corner of the screen right here under Project Detail. Now to start with, we're going to need to build a categories structure. And uh, I'd already built a structure of pages representing categories for my journal entries, so I'm just going to reuse that. But I want to click over there so that you can see what that looks like. And here it is. So you can see these are just regular pages like any other in the site, but uh, the difference here is in how we use them. Next, I need some way to select categories for each page in my portfolio. If we were to go edit a portfolio item right now, you can see that we have several fields here, but none specific to selecting categories. So what we need to do is to add a new field that will allow us to select these categories. And uh, where I'll do that is to use the Fields tool and edit the uh, portfolio field group. Here you can see the fields that are currently part of the uh, portfolio. What I want to do is add a new field. And because we need the ability to select one or more categories, we need a multiple selection field type. And in this case, I'm going to use ASM select. I'm going to call the field categories. Once we save the field, we're given a few more options. Here, the most important will be for us to associate this field with the items it should select from. The way that we do that is to provide the parent of these items. And uh, as you saw before, the parent of these items is a page called Categories that lives under Journal. So I'll click to that page right now to select it. And there we go. I also want to make this selection sortable. So I'm going to check that box. I'm going to save that. I'll go back and take a look at that field group. You can see here's our new field that we just added for categories. Um, in the editor, I'd kind of like to have this appear a little bit higher up, so I'm just going to drag that up there and hit Save. Now, if we go edit a portfolio item, we should now have uh, the new field, and there it is. So let's select a few categories. Actually, I don't want this one. And I want this one to be first. And I'm going to save that. So let's view this. OK, so we've added a couple of categories, but where are they? Well, in this case, there isn't any code in the XHTML template to display categories. We could create a reusable tag script to show categories, but in this case, I'm just going to edit the template directly and add some code to print out all the categories on the page and make sure they link to the right place. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read this from this video, and if you can't, I will put this uh, code on the entry uh, that this video appears on on my website. I'm putting a little uh, headline there with categories. I'm going to use an unordered list to display them. Okay, what I've done here is just add a little bit of PHP code that refers to the page's categories and loops through them and outputs them in a list. So I, I've saved that. Let's go back and view this page. And there are our categories. If we click on them, it should show any other pages that have the same category, which it's doing. Great. This looks good, but I want to have another category for personal projects, so how would I go about adding that? Well, this is pretty easy. All we have to do is go to the categories and add a new subpage for personal projects. I'll go ahead and do that right now. So there's our categories. I'll just click on New. 
I'll call this personal projects and I'll save that. Now if I go back and edit portfolio items, in this case I'm going to edit this one because it is a personal project, and I'll add this new category. There it is. Let's save that, unview that, and there it is. And right now that should be the only thing in there, which it is. Well, I think that covers it, but uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if you want to see some more of these process wire screencasts, uh, please visit my website at ryankramer.com. Thanks.